I am working. <laughs> Welcome to Freaking Fun Friday. Freaking Fun. Cheers. Freaking Fun Friday. Freaking Cheers to everybody. Cheers Friday. to the Fit Team. Studio audience. Studio audience. Cheers. Raise a glass of water. So you see on the bottom of your screen on Facebook, Why Am I Fat? And we're trying to get into that nitty gritty once again, uh, nutrition controversies, and kind of want to defend you a little bit by asking you that question. Why am I fat? Reason being, feelings. reason being is because uh, there's I like donuts. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there's health controversies that people want to be oblivious to, right? And they want to go in the wrong direction with, and they want to justify and say, "Hey, I'm I'm only eating a little bit of pasta every day, every meal. You know, I I really eat good. Then why the freak are your VLDLs the way they are? Why in the world are your triglycerides through the roof? Why in the world are your scans showing calcification in places where calcium should not go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of that is self-justified to make us feel better. Sometimes it's just not realizing how much we're eating. I had this conversation earlier this week. Of, I only have a cup of pasta when I eat. I just kind of chuckling because there's no way, if anyone knows what a cup of pasta looks like, mm -hmm. it's far less than you think. Right. Like it's very so small. And um, so I'm going to have a descriptive version of that probably this week and show how little that actually is. But That's a great idea. In general, we're That's eating a, a lot more. That's a great day. idea. I love it. I, I, I get this once in a bro. while. Bro. Bro. Do it. Do it, bro. Cup See of you pasta. in the morning, Schultz. Thank you for that one. So, Larry, are you bored yet? What are you watching? <laughs> are you still here? We're about to get really technical. Is he still here? What else is there better to watch right now other than the Yankee game? Oh, crap. We're contending with the Yankee game. Yeah, yeah, we are. Game five. It hasn't started yet. It's still early. It's dark out. <laughs> yeah, it's already right. right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's so dark, so early. Anyway, so let's That's talk about talking. does a high carbohydrate diet contribute to the formation of cataracts in women? I thought it was an interesting thing. That has no segue from are you fat, but no. okay. I was going to offend more people than we usually do. So I'm just going to continue on this one with I thought it was a weird question that it got so specific as women. But let's just push it into at least the way I first read that was completely yes if we're talking diabetics, who is usually we're thinking of are you going to become diabetic if you're eating a crap ton of carbs. Mm -hmm. And you know, diabetic retinopathy is what, one of the most common characteristics of things that are going to happen if you don't stop eating sugar and a bunch of processed carbs. So yes, I think it does cause cataracts. It's been proven because a little science nerdy stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> yes, you... Not quite your muff talk, but you can relax. John, taking it excited about <laughs> sugar in the aqueous humor in the back of the eye. Uh, it's first when you have so <laughs> much. And Larry <laughs> just <laughs> clicked on the aqueous. <laughs> <laughs> in Larry short, when we get our insulin goes out of whack, you have diabetes. You're gonna have sugar going everywhere, including at stores and places like in your eye. And then when it settles there for so long, it converts over to sorbitol, which then breaks down, mutates proteins, and you get this thick opaqueness you can't see, and welcome to cataracts. So yes. Welcome to weed. That helps glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> but still. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> it will. <laughs> you'll, you'll see multiple straight lines. It'll be perfect. It's on the ballot. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> How did I vote? <laughs> That's right. I don't know, but I saw you put the picture of the mail-in. We don't even know if you actually sent it in. It's actually my dresser. <laughs> <laughs> it's sealed sign. It's sealed sign. I delivered. just couldn't put it in the mailbox. I don't like our mailman. No. He's a dick. Uh, the mailbox me. out here. You walk out there five times I know, but I have to remember to grab that on top of the molecular hydrogen vitamin D every morning. And, like... Liver. So next week we'll talk about how the ballot's still sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> so taking control of health through food choices, activity, and exercise. Why is this controversial? I why don't do you have bother, a damn clue. Why do I have to even talk? Well, that? this is off of a list that I found of people heavily debating, and I didn't understand how this is a debatable topic other than it's how do you exercise and live a healthy life? That's all that we talk about and push is live a healthy lifestyle so it works. It does work. So I was confused the Lance's controversial. Why is those that follow our program become more successful financially? They become more successful with girls or guys, depending on their gender. They become more successful with their family. They become they just can become more successful, period. And then everyone else is still, why am I fat? I'm doing everything right and I'm miserable. Because no, you're not, and you're right. right. Okay. 
listen to us. That's really what it comes down to, is that, you know, it's not general. Here we give general advice, but you get pretty specific for general advice sometimes. Uh, but we get down to the individual. You know, to what get you Instagram, need? I got a few buttons. <laughs> you get the whole thing. DMB and myself are like out of it. So, and because nice. when we do turn it sideways, we get uh, Mr. Natalie, happy almost birthday, saying, I don't want to turn it sideways. Yeah, I wonder if he's watched any of them since then. Yeah, he's watched actually all of them. Really? Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, John! To you. I was gonna say, keyword goose duck. If you hear this, repeat goose duck to me. I know that you listen to it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a retarded movie. <laughs> all right, sugar or sweeteners added to food or taste? I don't know. But I'm gonna be confused tomorrow when I forget about it and I get a text saying goose duck. Um, Natural flavors. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I feel like we slam this one. Flavors. Ooh, I do not. Uh, but the controversial part is that people keto. Mm. Extra hydrogen? Not alkaline? Is it keto? This is keto as long as I keep it under eight. Okay. <laughs> so the controversy is why there's a bunch I of crap in our food. Uh, nice. Uh, the processed foods. We know this is a bunch of sugar, a bunch of additives, a bunch of crap. That's not the controversial part. It's why do we have it in our food? But the big reason why are you eating it? I, I, it's just because it tastes good. Answer. But does it really? I mean, like no. To those without a palate, to those that have now had their somewhere. palates corrupted, they don't know any better. They no, don't know what it the ones that say if I taste anything with stevia, then it tastes weird. I get that so it's much. Not, it's not. It's taste. not. I actually tasted some briars ice cream a couple of weeks ago. All of a sudden, that didn't taste right. That tasted mm -hmm. like gross. No oh, we got yeah. ingredients. Oh my gosh, we can discuss homemade ice cream versus that processed crap any day. Yes. So, so we'll have homemade a live studio so member good. jump in on a fake ice cream, though. Oh my god, fake ice cream is absolute crap. I have no idea if they hear this, but I agree. Most of the ice cream is absolute crap. It's like astronaut ice cream. It's not real ice cream. Poor astronauts. <laughs> 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 eat that oh, and be happy up so in uh, Like those dipping Dots? You remember the dipping Dots? Oh, the dipping Dots. Oh, yeah. yeah, frozen burnt. Uh, yeah, it's like tastes like freezer burnt. It, it is freezer burnt. And all the flavors are the same flavor. It's, it really is. They throw in freezer burnt cookie dots. Yeah. And mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why kids were so obsessed with it. But I mean, just don't eat the boss stuff. The it's, it's not. It's really little balls of ice cream. I mean, it's not fun. Balls. It's little balls. Genetically engineered vegetables and cloned <laughs> farm livestock we're talking about now. Yeah, I'll be honest. They're in the... Uh, cloned livestock. I haven't read too much direct studies on that. It just seems like that can't be good. So I only have facial value evidence on that one. I don't eat cloned humans. I only cloned livestock. How's that sense? So do you eat uncloned humans? Because I know you eat uncloned livestock. Hey, if I'm up in the mountains, I'm hungry. Just if you're say. going a mountain day, mountaining with Jim, make sure you're cloned. <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so people I, know which ones which though. <laughs> So how the much one that does white not meat taste does like, not taste uh, like white meat. The one that does not taste like NASA ice cream. Is <laughs> it's the real one. It's the real one. So there's a taste test. <laughs> so that's another one. John, if you're listening, text me saying, Jim tastes like NASA ice cream. <laughs> I'll know that you're watching this. And I will post it all over social media. Um, so how much do you want to ramble on about GMOs? Because this Nothing be... is retarded. Everybody knows GMOs just stay away from it. But no one knows how to stay away from it because they keep buying it. Yeah, I mean, it really is freaking everywhere. I, the problem is we don't know how much it's hurting us. We don't. We're a giant observational study, mm -hmm. and we just know that... Aliens are watching. That would at least make more sense, other than, I mean, the seeds, the plants that uh, Monsanto makes, they don't reproduce. <laughs> so <laughs> we're now eating stuff that have been genetically changed not to reproduce, and we're assuming our bodies can still break it down the same. I'm telling you it's not. We just don't know all the side effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. then, well, I mean, it's, then all of a sudden it's like Bill Smith and I am legend and those are the side effects. The, like uh, mutant babies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, studio audience. That was a much better movie than I thought. Ooh, Futurama. Yeah, everybody's going to cycle off. You know, Don't you worry about blank. Let me worry about blank. All right? That 80s guy. Tell them that With every bonus. day here. So <laughs> let's talk about, I mean, this is a good segue, establishing a scientific basis for this stuff that we're oh, talking about. Okay. Yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff, uh, when there is scientific claims or basis on it, it's a bunch of bull. Um, Milk. It's great for bone health. Favorite example. Crappy for All bone health. All of our views are on that. My favorite debate or objection people give me is, 
don't say, but I grew up learning that. So why are you going to tell me it's any different? Because you that is wrong. stupid logic. First off, if I believed everything still that I was full as a kid, mm. I would still believe in the boogeyman that thunder is God winning, like getting a strike and bowling. Bowling. I mean, that is Always. not a good argument. I first off, angels are just bowling. No, no, no God God has I'm a Catholic boy. All right, none of you are Catholic. I'm I mean, Catholic. What? <laughs> Did you all go to Catholic school? You went to a Christian school where they beat you. I was kicked out of. <laughs> exactly. I made it through Catholic school the whole way. So your I got first point. Married in a Catholic church. Your mom forced you. You changed your point six so times. You're not the only. Well, screw. I'm not actually affiliated, but you're wrong on whatever I wanted to prove. I was right <laughs> on. Um, it was God bowling. That's what it was. And I'm not a kid anymore, so I don't believe that anymore. Same thing with milk. If you want to hear us right on that, we have what two or three shows on that in the archives. Yeah, just there's a search button, believe it or not, on the website. I like, can use it. Simply search, and <laughs> holy crap, stuff comes up. It works. You don't need milk. You're not a cow. You don't need to keep asking me. Just go to the search button. I'm going to the search button, searching out, and then emailing you. You could just skip out the middleman. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing I do. When people ask what what podcast was that, I'm like. I uh, just go on our website, www.functionize.com, and then you just type Get in the search. Right? That's all I've done. Woo! That's a lot of work. Exhausting. Because so, no one checks their email. Yeah, so check out the website. There's a bunch of other cool things there, too. More about the Keto Project. Who's that was the, the quick. So who's the governing body on all this stuff? <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> there's not. <laughs> um, was that a segue to something I missed? No, you actually put that as a bullet point. No, so, uh, newspapers about less space to in-depth nutrition reporting. I think that's a great idea. I don't think news reporters should be putting really anything about nutritional information in newspapers because they're not educated about it. And it ends up being more marketing or just more mm -hmm. um, tabloids than anything else. And Google recently has taken out Dr. Mercola and all so-called alternative health from their searches. Oh, I didn't know that. He has to go direct now. I get oh. a lot of emails from him when I want to read an article. You're not going to huh. find that on Google anymore. Why it's tough to find our crap on Google now, because we have good information. Those keywords, Google is unindexing, so it has to go through more mainstream medicine. So, hey, vaccinate your children, as opposed to here's the research to give you the best informed consent whether to vaccinate your children or not. It's your decision. Herd immunity is pretty cool. Works in Sweden. Burn it up. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> You're pretty, pretty much talking drastic. about the general assignment reporters don't know Jack. They're doing the best they can. They don't, but, but most of their they just want to get that paycheck as quick as possible. Yeah, and it's and piss poor. They're, they're getting their They're not reading the journals or oh. actual studies to get their information. They're reading it from bloggers wow. of slightly smaller uh, magazines, newspapers, and then putting their information in. So at best, it's good to get interest. That's what they're meant to do, and that's the most you should use it for is get interest in the topic and then ask somebody competent that knows what's talking about. See, I don't actually have to know which way to point. I just go back and forth there. Um, and I'll actually help out. Someone said hello. Nope. Steen Yard saying hello. I'm blind with my glasses on. <laughs> Holy jeez. So you wanted to thank Dr. Pearl for some reason because uh, media experts are flawed and Dr. Pearl taught us so, how to research stuff. But meanwhile, the entire class still failed every freaking exam and he had to find a way to pass us all. That had every to, year. That had to do with Wasn't my class, wasn't your class, it was it's probably still going on, but the school shut down. Not shut down. It was bought out in peace by four different schools that two of them have already turned down. Yeah, I was just updated on this. The other day. We should talk about that because I have no idea what's going on. Or old school. Oh, it's going to hell. It's it was going to hell when I was there. Yeah, four different schools have dropped, jumped in to half own it, and then two of the schools have dropped out because there wasn't a financial agreement that they could all settle on. Or the actual notes that were supposed to be done and the checks and balances that were uh, way off. There might have been some issues in the uh, taking over. How did some of the doctors not get the way? <laughs> For HIPAA violations at the yin-yang. If we didn't mention this one, I appreciate my education. It's not us for students. <laughs> Uh, you cannot control your governing bodies. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the. Uh -huh. Yeah. You can, I was actually, you can take your ballot off your dresser and put it in the mailbox. <laughs> That's how you control your governing bodies. There it is. Okay. It's so good. Thanks. You're welcome. Anyway, <laughs> the only compliments we like it off camera. Oh, oh. Have you? <laughs> 
Why don't you have superfoods? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> pistachios. Pistachio. Snoop Dogg <laughs> now endorses pistachios. Oh, I didn't know he did it. I knew uh, so Colbert did it. I think it was Colbert. Yeah. The There's one in this room. <laughs> Where'd he go? Out the door. It's humid. <laughs> Huh. Frank, if you could please get this AC fix, I would yes. greatly appreciate it. It is set to 70, it is 77 and humid as balls on a summertime for somebody running five miles. From a bear Through the woods Florida. in a bear in Florida. Yep. <laughs> the door's even open. Okay. Did we even talk about the last three topics? What are we on? Pistachios. Oh, Avocados, yeah. Pistachios. cranberries. <laughs> the idea, it's just marketing. Cranberries fight cancer. Cranberries yes. Cranberries are so high in sugar. I forgot about salads. I like, noticed. We're eating our meat. No, I just didn't put four of them in the salad. Uh, okay. I intentionally yeah. left so them out. Them out. <laughs> no, I That's intentionally left them out. But like cranberry, well, your pistachios or avocados are like the big superfoods right now that's easily advertised. Everyone just pushes it. It's marketing. Avocados are magical. Cran was the other one that I remember was everywhere. There's cran apple, cranberry, cran cherry, cran pork chops, like everything cr through cranix. There was a study suggesting it was good for cholesterol and like UTI, so now it has to be in everything. It was just a marketing th thing that worked out really good for whoever was selling cran. And pistachios do have a crap ton of uh, resveratrol. However, so try getting it out of there. I mean, my fingers are cut to crap from opening them every night. And it the shelf ones good. don't taste the same. But at the same time, you still got to break them. You still got to break do them down. Not taste the same. And can you break them down? Extract that cellular wall and actually absorb the resveratrol. Survey says no Drink freaking your wine. No, I mean yes. <laughs> no. You're not getting there anyway. It just brought me back to when you had the whole five-pound bag of pistachios sitting in the uh, gym studio, gym the auditorium, that thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Waiting for her to go on stage again and shake her tail feather. <laughs> All that hard work. In my high, clear hooker shoes. Daddy will be proud. Um, <laughs> my daddy is proud. He is proud. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> so let's talk about food labeling issues before we get pulled from this non. Um... Why am I fat? Yeah, food labeling issues. Because you're doing everything we're not telling you. People are fat because food labeling issues. It's another topic. It is a, that's actually a huge one. So sugar-free means like high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, etc. I mean, there's so many examples on this one. Yeah, I've seen sugar-free, then you look in the ingredients. The first one is yeah. high fructose corn syrup. I mean, unfortunately, you can almost put whatever the hell you want on the nutrition label, and they can round it. I've used this example before, but this one still bothers me because the people never responded back to me on this one. But it was the freaking sprinkles. I know I've ran oh, all this before. Sprinkles? sprinkles. Sprinkles, the little genies for ice cream on top. One, two ingredients: artificial coloring and glucose. However, there's zero calories, zero <laughs> sugar, zero everything per serving because they broke the serving down to one sixteenth of a teaspoon. And as long as the serving size shows less than five calories, it can be marked as zero. Yeah, so this was about ten teaspoons on there. Yeah. So about, <laughs> really, so one hundred and sixty-eight servings of zero sugar end up being over 750 calories in this, but people see zero, <laughs> zero sugar, zero calories. It's so It's sweet. bullshit. Right, studio audience? That is manipulative. It is, and I love sprinkles. <laughs> Just have one sixteenth of a sprinkle, like not even like a pinky. No, it, like, it's basically nothing. No. But when you say the only ingredients in there is natural coloring and glucose, which is sugar, but there's no calories or carbs in it. I have problems with that. So, I mean, yeah, food labeling is a huge issue, which is another reason I push make your own food so you actually know what the heck is in it. Mm -hmm. And the whole, I'm not buying the whole I don't have time part of it. Again, I cook for the whole week in two hours. Otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't have time for it. We all put in a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Somehow, holy crap, I'm putting in 14, 16 hour days still. Some of me going to 20 plus hours a day. And somehow I made four lamb burgers today and sat down and ate them. No, so we eat How well. do I do that? <laughs> we definitely eat well. You know what? That's never been a problem. Yeah. Join me. Uh, Join me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what was that? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a chance of meatballs. Yeah, okay. Was that ribs or the lamb chops you were eating when I walked into you like the last two days? That was probably pork chops. Pork chops. The big okay. fat, huge pork chops. Thank you, Jorge. <laughs> I just see him going <laughs> bone deep into his mouth with he it. Keeps and like, feeding my Dude, husband. I was very nice on that one, you know. <laughs> I'm about to do stuff to you that you just don't want to have happen. It can't be on camera. 
Ew. Ew, I'm taking <laughs> over the soy boy phenomenon thing again. I, yeah, you were obsessed with soy boys. No, this was on a list. You're no. freaking obsessed. This is a third freaking week in a row, fourth week in a row. And you know what? For the for uh, our patients and Fit Lab members that are still asking me every week what my problems against soy, and we've mentioned it now four freaking times. Guess what? They're still not watching this. I know it drives me nuts. Everybody else is, but they're not. Because the whole note on this was soy. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm just basically all like, <laughs> soy. Like, you, soy. <laughs> so seriously, if anyone asks me again, I'm going to tell you, instead of sending you the link, because that was when I was talking Functionize about Functionize.com backslash triple H backslash soy dash boy dash phenomenon. Or just search soy on the website like we mentioned 10 minutes ago. Oh, snap. Ago. You go to the search button on the homepage and just say soy. That's what I did for two first. people this week. First one. Um, <laughs> food allergies affect six to seven million Americans. What should you do? Everything. What the ingredients that are in there? The um, process, the facilities that things are processed in as well. They're not always. That's not required, but I think it, it should, should be. be. Um, yeah. So there's eight main allergens that hits ninety percent of us. Uh, we want to see if we have all eight off the top of our head while Jim cheats. By the way, egg, soy, dairy, peanuts, tree nuts. We. Oui. We, looking for this many more. I forget what I said. <laughs> it's like naming the dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's always one you forget. How did I forget that one? And then fish. That'll kill yeah, him. Those are the ones that kill me. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a problem. laughs> Don't feed Dr. Mike. Ugh, sure. Let's stop on the split. We've got to think of insurance policy on it. I'll share it with you. So this may be my last show. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a dollar. <laughs> I'm honest then. <laughs> She's celebrating a dollar. So, uh, she could get a flame broiled burger. <laughs> I'll buy her the flame broiled burger, <laughs> burger. <laughs> extra. Oh, <laughs> burger king. Oh my god. Um, so, yeah, al whatever on the allergies, the fun, useless conversation I had on this one was well, I told you because I thought this was neat. Is in Europe, celery is actually required on the list. I heard about that. You should have. I told you. Yeah. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was bizarre because Europe. The medical medium says <laughs> celery is the cure for everything. Eat your celery in the morning. Or drink your celery in the morning. Drink your celery in the afternoon. Drink your celery at night. Just keep drinking celery juice. Apparently not if you're European. Then you smell. <laughs> Because they eat celery or they don't eat celery. They don't bathe. <laughs> so the do Middle Ages celery. have not evolved. I cook the celery. I don't like to eat it though. Oh, I got yelled at for putting I put celery. It in your salad. It and omelets? I pick it out. So if you're with somebody for 20 years, you would think they know what to put in your salads and what not to put in your salads. Not cranberries. Apparently. The funny part is, I do know what to put in your salads. But he put the stuff I don't like in there anyway. Because he picks it out and gives it to me. <laughs> so I get extra. <laughs> well, don't you just put double in yours? So it's more work for me. The restaurants don't say double. Oh, they charge you more. I, I was thinking you just give it to her. Yeah. Like, this, this is the salad you made me. And then he got mad because I picked out all the raw broccoli. I, that all part, I thought it was celery. Sweet. <laughs> I'm like, I'm preventing cancer. Everything else. <laughs> she wants cancer. I want her around. Oh, yeah. She can be I around with cancer. cancer. <laughs> it's very true. Well, no. She can be broccoli around with cancer. What? <laughs> as long as you're no salary for Europeans. You want to talk about trans fat or should we skip that? Is this Franken fat so it's retarded and stupid? Yeah, why I mean, is it still around? Yeah, why is Franken fat still around? You can't. You Fried should food? not be. I mean, that's the main reason why for them. And then, you can still just put coconut oil in it. It's more expensive though, right? That thing. Mm -hmm. And then all and people are still dumb enough to buy it, so I'm gonna keep buying this stuff. So it's cheap and it's in all processed foods. Crisco or, will last the fat longer than process. you. Crisco will last longer. So put it on your face. Crisco <laughs> facial. Facial. Uh, facial. <laughs> I don't know what time it is, but it's Friday. Anything else? <laughs> that was a good show. Danny's not watching us, so uh, our studio audience is out. She threw no pumpkin spice latte things into our thing tonight. They're delicious, but really bad for you. I'm really bad for you. I allow myself one a season. What a season? Half pump? Yeah, no, I control like, so the I amount of that, pumps that It they sounds terrible. In. I hope you die at the end of the season so you can get one more in your life to whenever old age that you die in. So if you're like 102, I hope you made it to that 103rd season so you get that one extra. 
No, you only have one. My goal is 105. So you get that 106. That You're almost nice. cheating it a little extra. That would be nice. Or just <laughs> take two of the last year. You'll be fine. <laughs> How will Cheap I know it's the last year? You because you're 105. <laughs> Matt, you already put the limit on there. <laughs> you know those pumpkin spice cheesecake bars. I'll make them tomorrow, and if there's anything left, there won't be. I'll bring them in. These will not make them left. If you eat a crap ton of them, they, they, they will. Yours? Yeah, I mean, if you're eating like three dozen of them. Well, that's a lot. Who's going to eat After three dozen? After my run today that I got pumpkin. lost on, I would be uh, still calorie deficient. <laughs> I got so lost here in Pulse Nick. Yeah, you were going for like two hours. So I walked by, I'm like, oh, there's Jim running because I saw the car. I was going to go to the fire station and back. And then I'm like, let me just keep going. And I thought I could make it around. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I got the kids to pick up. My phone died. I can't map it out. I can't call her, pick up the kids. I'm screwed. So I pick up the pace. And those exogenous ketones from Keto Aid were kicking in. I hit a stride like none other before. I was hitting a sub seven minutes, I'm guessing, because I didn't have anything to time myself. <laughs> I didn't know where I was. He had like a five minute mile, y'all. I'm, I'm guessing it's a two minute mile. And... I passed a couple Kenyans <laughs> back here. They're laughing you, it's okay. <laughs> I took my shoes off, which were already barefoot runners, to go bare barefoot. No rubber on my soles. It happened. <laughs> Nobody can, nobody can prove otherwise, so what the heck not? Right. It's like happens. nutrition labels. Perfect. Are we done? I'm, I'm about ready to be out of here, unless we got anything else to chat on. Let's go do something else. Okay. Bye. We're out. <laughs> Mad scientist! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, your mad scientist. Live functionized. I'm out. Goose duck. <laughs> <laughs> You're Duncan. You go that way. <laughs> it's like a tofurkey. Oh. <laughs> we tried that once. Did you? Have you ever tried the tofurkey? No, I, I haven't wanted to. To be completely honest. Yeah, we had to. End that. <laughs> <laughs>